Hey everyone, so we are going to build a flow today that is going to scrape images uh, from Google Images. So I'm going to do a simple search of something like a dog, and then I'm going to scrape all of these images. Uh, just to demonstrate that new feature, which should be pushed uh, today, if not tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and recapture steps or add a new automation, whatever you want to do. And the initial URL is going to be that images.google.com is where we want to start. You can obviously go to google.com and go to images uh, by clicking the buttons, but the more direct you can go, the better, the better things are, the faster things are, everything is more enjoyable, right? So record type, and then I'm going to type dog, and then let's confirm that click. And then I want to record another click, but I want this input to be open. Um, and it doesn't look like it's staying open when I click like that. So, cause I want to make sure I get, I want to click this part of it. I don't like clicking icons cause if they change and this is kind of what changes the most on sites, I'd rather click this result. Um, if you're doing the manual recorded, you can just kind of fly by obviously and, and record that way. Um, but I'll click add step now that I have this staying open record and then click, and then let's click that first result. And then let's go do that click in the browser. And next is using scrape images. So I'll click down here. We have scrape images, uh, single versus list, the same way these work. Um, it's allowing you to either grab multiple or just one. I'm going to go ahead and select list and then we'll click this first one and then the second one. And it doesn't look like you can really see a border, um, but you can really see, you can see a really faint purple. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and confirm this and then we can test the step if we wanted to as well. Um, but that is going to be, uh, the flow. So I'll go ahead and I think I'm missing something. Oh, that's right. Okay. So for scrape images, one important thing, um, is if the UR, if the image does not provide a URL, the only way to download that image or get that image is going to be downloading it to your local computer. So, and this might be, might be a really frequent thing with the images, uh, with the image scraping, just because a lot of sites are going to display it that way. So what you can do is, is if you go to wherever you want to put this on your desktop or in your downloads, uh, whether you're using windows and, or Mac, I'm going to go ahead and just create another folder called images. Um, and just like a different tutorial I've posted in the past, if we want to grab the file path here so that we can download all of these images to a specific file, we're going to go ahead and right click get info and then we can go ahead and click right here right click copy as path name and then for scrape images we want to click here advanced settings and then we want to enable uh, the download path and then we'll paste that here um, and this doesn't have my folder at the end of it so let's make sure we add that slash images and this is all we need now to download those images from Google or whatever site it's going to be so if I click play steps, we will see all of those images get download, um, get downloaded to this folder. So go to Google, it will type in dog and then click the first result. And then it will download all of these images. So we'll see it downloading. It created a folder with all of those images in it. Cool. So one thing we'll see with Google um, is that they they kind of change this halfway down the page. And this is why it'll be important to know how to find that file path and download them locally is we'll see if I click data out that it scraped all the URLs for an image. However, however, the URL here isn't a URL you can normally visit. Um, this is broken down. This is basically a broken down version of the image. So these, this is what I was talking about. If you see anything that's going to be like this, then we only can download those to the user's computer. You'll see at some point down here, there are some URLs for images. Um, but in this case, because all of them don't function that way, we're going to want to make sure that we specify some different path for those to download to. So hopefully this gives you some cool ideas for how you can use scrape images. I'm um, looking forward to see what you guys build. Feel free to leave some comments with how this can apply to other sites.